To manufacture PCBs economically, manufacturers use machines that can work on large panels. Each panel can be designed to contain many copies of the same PCB. It's also possible to use clever algorithms that place different PCBs on the same panel so that the capacity of the panel is fully utilized and that the individual cost of each PCB is reduced. This is how it's possible to have a single hobby PCB manufactured for just a few dollars. This panelization process is key to the reduction in costs. In the photograph in this slide, you can see how a single panel contains multiple PCBs. These PCBs are populated while they are still part of the panel using an automated pick and place machine. A pick and place machine is a robot that uses an arm to pick each component from a container and places it precisely on the pads. And I've got a lecture about this later on in this section. To remove the PCBs from the panel, manufacturers utilize defined breakaway routes and points on the board to snap them off. In the photo in this slide, you can see the breakpoints along the edges of this PCB. Using a drill, the manufacturer removed the substrate material in between the breakpoints so that with a small amount of force, that individual PCB can break free from the panel without damage. Let's move on to the next lecture where we'll have a look at solder paste and paste stencils.